Hey guys, well, got an interesting little project. A pin got stuck and is rusted in there. This is on the Lowell machine. I don't think I know exactly what it A Highlander 2 older unit, uh, but uh, looks like that pin is rusted and frozen in there. So I'm going to be using exothermic to get it out. So let's see how that works. All right, guys, so uh, I had an issue yesterday. Yesterday, I say yesterday because I ran out of rods. But what ended up happening is my camera did not have a formatted SD card. Something I messed up. Either way, so the introduction to this video was done with my phone. And I didn't get to capture any of this. So I'm going to uh, continue on because I ran out of rods from here. And hopefully you'll still get the gist of how this works. Uh, I worked on that side there. This is a where the leveling cylinder goes. It attaches down in there. And I don't know why the end was messed up or something. I don't actually know. But they wanted me to come get this out. So they took this pin out here. This pin in there. And that worked. And I tried to hollow it out through here. But of course this is too deep. And I did not make it through with the amount of rods I had. I think I used 19 rods yesterday. And so, uh, not enough. So, I'll show the rest of this process along with maybe some other video clips of some other exothermic work I've done before. That way you guys can get the understanding of how this works. And basically, I'll, actually I'll wait. Let me just show you here in a second once I get set up. All right. Okay. okay, so this is the unit here. It basically almost looks like a car wash handle. The more you press the uh, handle, the more oxygen comes out. And so, uh, oxygen comes out through the center of this hole here. And you install this here, all the way to the end of the collet. And you tighten it up. It's got a little rubber gasket in there. And air, will, oxygen will come out this end here. So, with that, it needs a power source to strike the end of the arc. And I use, I use my welding leads. All you need is a 12 volt source here. Um, 12 volt source just to strike an arc against the ground. And you strike an arc just to get it started. And once it's started, then this, it'll start sparkling. You press that against the, the pin or material and you'll be in business. And so watch out. A lot of sparks come out. So uh, let me finish getting set up and we'll see, show you guys how that works as well.
Okay, well this one has been fighting me every step of the way. Uh, I don't think I've ever had one give me this much trouble. But uh, that's why they call it work. They don't call it fun. Well, it's kind of fun. But uh, either way, this is hot. And I have heated this bore very hot. So I'm going to get some water and cool it off. And hopefully it will shock the pin so that it shrinks just enough to tap out. Uh, we tried it yesterday, but I hadn't gone through far enough. There were still about five or six inches left between uh, what I had or hadn't uh, been able to get through. So hopefully this will do it. So that's the next step. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so we're going to try and hit this baby, see if it goes in any direction. It's still smoking hot. So this side is pretty much flush. So we'll see if it comes out any accidentally mushroom this end here. So looks like we may be able to get it to move just a little bit. Maybe work it that way, work it back this way. So let me give it a couple hits with a, with a Tanya 4000. Because that hammer will shoot stuff. Yeah. Probably at you. But it does look like it moves, so that's good. I can see it right here. Wish I had a jackhammer. That would be nice. Yeah, it's moving. Hey, look at that. Right on. Okay, most likely we're gonna have to drive it out this way. Because this side's mushroomed and that side not so much. Actually. Yeah, I tell you what, why don't you give me the grinder and I'll I'll try and bevel this a little bit. Now we can hit it that way because I can swing better that, that direction. Yeah, because they're mushroom right here, make it real tough.
Okay, so after all that beating, we got nowhere. <laughs> Only about an eighth of an inch, which stinks. And so I stuck the one of these rods in there from this side, this way, and it made it actually to right here. And then this one makes it all the way over here. So that tells me that we're running in parallel. One here though, and then one up here. And so I'm missing, uh, I missed the tunnel. <laughs> Good thing I'm not in road boring, huh? But uh, so I'm gonna try again. Unfortunately, I put a lot of oil in there, so it's gonna fire back at me real nice and uh, nasty. But now I will try and aim this down just a little bit so that I can make it through the whole thing because it seemed it just wasn't making any sense and so once i do that then we'll have some real nice progress although out of a box of 50 just that i bought this morning uh, i have 10 left so i have to make good use of these rods so we're uh, doing good uh, not much forward progress i mean they're little baby steps but forward progress is forward progress right so you gotta keep at it here we go. Okay, so now that we got stuck, it only moved very little. Uh, no more Mr. Nice Guy. So, make this little frame. We're gonna use a hydraulic jack to press it out. I don't have a port of power, uh, so we're just gonna use an air or hydraulic um, jack and do that. And hopefully it'll start moving a little more. Like I, I have little segments of spacers that we'll put blocks in there as it starts making its way out the other side the other end so turns out it doesn't look like i'm the first person that tried to press this thing out because there's some evidence of angle iron that was welded at one time or another and initially the pin comes out in this direction because i think it had a washer or a end to the pin this way and of course the set bolt is on this side but since that side got mushroomed up, uh, trying to knock it in this way, we're gonna go that way. And, you know, an eight pound hammer can only make it go so far. So hopefully a 20 ton jack will make it go further. <laughs> so that's the next step. So here we go. Here we go, here's our setup. We're gonna pull that up there, start pressing on it. Got some blocks we're going to be pushing in there a piece at a time until we get further and further in. So let's get after it. You do that now? By hand. Put this side with a 
spin on it? No. Thinking that it's moving? I didn't catch that. Give me a market on this oh, side. Fuck. It almost does look like it's moving. Go ahead and do it again. Ready? Yep. Uh, okay, let's uh let's go ahead and turn the Machine on, and we can get the air. Use air. Okay, so this guy's still not playing, Mr. Nice Guy, and uh, so now we're gonna break out this. I see that they had already tried to heat it up here before, uh, somewhat. So I'm hoping that I can kind of do the same. Under pressure, it should pop and continue moving. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> so here we go. Pressure? I did. Hold on. Damn it. 
thing is not pushing anymore. That's tight. Oh, I hope we didn't break the jack. It's leaking off. Okay, well, I guess it's just bad on top of bad. It's one of those days again. I kind of goofed up, I guess, and didn't set this thing down square or flat or something. <clears throat> but I think I broke the base of this jack, which stinks because it's starting to drip oil all over the place. Okay, well, off to the store I go. Uh, my other bottle jack is not as big as this one, so. This is proving to be a, a bit of a challenge. It moves some, but not enough. So let's go get another one. All right.
this piece of the wood. with a 50 ton press <laughs> that was a two by four now that's only a, a half or three quarter by four so we're making some progress it's moving but not it's not wanting to uh, we're trying to make it and it's slowly getting there I guess I should have put a multiple pass. So let me weld that back up. I gotta move the jack again and uh, kind of start over. So things are looking good though. So we'll, we'll keep at it. Running out of steam. There you go. Good job. Going. Nice. 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 Nice.
the wood cracking. And this whole thing is super rusted. Rusted, huh. rusted? Huh? Rusty, rusty? Yeah, it's like it was never wanting to come out. Keep going. Might need some rusties. Car's joke, nobody got it. <laughs> Put your face too close to it. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Whoa. Yeah, it's coming. Uh will it rub up on the it's gonna rub up on it. We're gonna have to adjust it. Alright, just keep going until we get to the spot. about an eighth of an inch. Alright. And all that force <laughs> we're just an eighth. Yeah it'll get easier though. We got up to it. Okay. I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> kind of mushroom on the sides of one. Let's readjust real quick. Oh. 
gonna have to address that later. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Timber! Hey! <laughs> man, oh man. Just stuck on there good. Oh, that is fantastic. Can I zoom? No, I can't zoom. Well, there's a pin. That was one heck of a crazy job. Alright, so uh, next step is just to get this off and clean it all up. And look at the damage I made on the inside. <laughs> uh, there's gonna be some gouge marks, but doesn't hurt. It's more space for grease, right? All right, so let me do that next. All right, well, we got that done. Uh, that gouged off. And so, uh, let me climb up there and show you. I sure don't hurt myself. <laughs> it uh, turned out all right. A 21 inch long bore, two and a half inch pin. And it's got a lot of junk in there. I tried blowing it out blowing it off we came out pretty good uh, you needed some type of flap disc or so but other than that this baby is done I'm so happy the customer is gonna be happy uh, of course it was a tremendous amount of effort and uh, hopefully if he sees this uh, he will see all the effort that it was involved I mean this one was a tough one one of the tougher ones I've done but it needed to be done so uh, fortunately, I, I did have the exothermic rods. I'm one of the few people in town that have them. And uh, so I had run out and had to get them uh, two towns away <laughs> uh, to get new, a new set, a new couple of boxes. But uh, hopefully, the, again, the customer will be happy. And, uh, you know, he got it out. So that's good. And like I say, just called me out of the blue, a first time customer. Uh, I don't know him and he didn't know me, but you actually may know him. Uh, he he runs this thing right here, this truck. Kind of crazy, huh? Didn't know he was a Texas guy. But either way, thanks for watching. Now I just gotta put up my junk and we shall get out of town. All right, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys later.